Hey guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man. Try to do this video uninterrupted. Um, I have to do it a couple times, I don't know. But today we're testing pool chemicals and uh, we're using a Taylor 2005 kit. It's on a cloudy day, it shocked the pool yesterday. Four scoops of shock. It's a 36,000 gallon pool, so we just round that up to 40. So, let's see if uh, how our chlorine pH is doing. pH might be high because I did that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So, we'll fill up the valves with water. Get over here. We have some chemicals. And usually use the... I'm sorry. Usually use the R1. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And you use the brown bottle, which is the R2, and five drops of that. One, two, three, four, five. Turns purple. I'm doing pH too, so what I need to do is grab my pH indicator out of the uh, out of the thing, and five drops of this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I know what y'all are saying. What are the other bottles for? This bottle right here is um, R3. It is for, here I'll show y'all. Like total chlorine thing. So, if you, if you didn't shock the pool, then... Um, that would be a test you want to run and like I said before um, that test I usually don't run the third chlorine test because I, here I'll show you it's, it's another five drops of this if you want to run that test to see what your free chlorine one two three four five but it's not gonna change it's not gonna change color chlorine levels are kind of high in here right now because like I said I just shocked it it's been cloudy what takes chlorine out of a pool is Sun I do need to add some acid. We are sitting at an 8.0. That is not good. That looks about 8.0. I don't know how it looks on you, you, you guys' end, but when I hold this thing up to the light, it is like an 8. So I need a, a good half gallon of uh, muriatic acid in this pool. Maybe more than that, actually. I think half a gallon on this pool, this particular pool, knocks it down uh one point so maybe i need a gallon but we'll add a half a gallon come back check it again add another gallon so this is when the pool chemicals are off we've had a lot of rain uh ph goes up a lot so i need to lower it um there's a lot of discrepancy about pouring out those chemicals in the pool don't worry about it it's not that big of a deal I'm going to show you how to do the cyanitric acid test. These are the three tests that's going to happen when the health department comes out. So you take this little bottle, stick it down in there, fill it up to the 7 mil mark. Not quite there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, almost. Place it on a level surface here. Well, well, it seems to be level anyway. Maybe a drop or two. I don't want the accuratest reading, so the health department. So, and then uh, you take this, the cyanitric acid reagent. And this is a kind of an expensive test, actually. I got more of this stuff in a bigger bottle. You take this and you squirt it in there until it fills up to the 14 mil mark. Like that. This is what the health inspector is going to cap it. This is what the health inspector is going to be checking. So, shake, 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 Shanoa. Check it all over time. Shake, 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 Shanoa. Shake it for 30 seconds. Shake, 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 Shanoa. Shake it all time. I don't know the words of that song. Alright, I 
don't know how I'm gonna show you all this, but we'll try. On the bottom of this, there's a tiny black dot. Can y'all see that? Hopefully y'all can see that. There's a tiny black dot. You see what I do? I'll rinse this. Rinse this out a couple times. Make sure I got just me, myself, and Irene in there. And you add this until that that black dot does not become visible anymore. So right there is where I've added it on the side of this thing it's got uh, numbers here let's say CYA on it so our cyanitric acid is at a 50 so to get rid of cyanitric acid because you want it down to about 30 is perfect uh, 30 is real perfect for cyanitric acid so I, rent, I always rinse this out because I'm always the next guy to do the test. And we put it back in the kit. The next test that you can do, you don't have to do all of these tests, is the alkalinity test. Always oh, go deep with the uh, samples. Oops. Oh, I'll go. Fill it up to a 25 millimeter mark on the side of the sight glass. 25 mils. You're gonna take your thiosulfate or reagent seven. One, two. I don't know if I was off frame, but I just put two drops in there. So set you guys over here so you can see a little bit better. Then you're going to take your green stuff, reagent, here, one, two, three, four, five, five drops of that, swirl it around, turns green, then your third bottle is sulfuric acid, probably watered down a little bit, because it says 0.12 newts, I don't know what that is, but you're going to add this drop wise counting every drop that you put in there. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I already know that this is going to take a while to turn red. Because you want to swirl six, seven. Eight. Ooh, almost put nine in there. Eight. Almost. Nine. There you go, 90. So the alkalinity of this pool is 90 because you're gonna take nine and times that by 10, 90. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is calcium, calcium test, calcium hardness test. So this one is the same as the alkalinity almost, but it takes about 30 drops. There we go. Pull it up 25 mils. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been, it's been like a couple months. Calcium buffer. So the calcium buffer, um, there's 20 drops on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 drops. Sun just came out. Holy crap. Swirl the mix. Then you're gonna put five drops of this bluey stuff in there. One, two, three, four. Well, there's five drops in there, but you know, the wind blew and blew one of my drops all over the place and it turns red. Make sure I get all that. So it turns red you take your third bottle out of your kit which is the hardness reagent r12 i don't know when they call it zero zero twelve but everything's a zero 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 
You can add this drop wise counting every drop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 150. If we turn blue at this point, that would be bad. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 200. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29. There we go, it's starting to turn. 29, 30, 300. That means we're in the zone. It's starting to turn blue. 31. So, calcium hardness has gone down a bit in this pool, but not, it's not like a, yeah, so it's turned blue. So it's, it's in between the uh, 310 or whatever. But it's within specs. It's not calcium harness is one of those tests that's also uh, uses up all your chemicals on your pool. This uh, kit comes with like you know an ideal measurement of like if your pH is here, it'll show you on here and stuff. A little spin chart, but your pH needs to be in your swimming pool 7.4. 7.2 to 7.6. In between that, perfect number, 7.4. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go grab some acid and put it in the pool. And basically, <clears throat> we'll show you that too. Our pH is definitely high and that pool heater don't sound too hot. But it is uh, it is working. <coughs> okay. Whew. There's a little bit of muriatic acid in there. Um, as long as there's a little bit, you don't want to like if you require like five gallons of acid you don't probably want to do this but um it'll help keep everything white in your box though so you just pour the acid in here since the water is moving it'll disperse this into the pool uh pretty evenly so um need a lot more acid than that though and I gotta get boss man. Yeah, there's not enough acid to even do anything. It'll lower the pH a little bit, but that acid's already gone out of the box probably. Cause this thing's sucking this this stuff down quick. So all I'm gonna do is raise the acidity of the pool, putting some acid in it. You shouldn't put it in the box. And then some people say you shouldn't put it in the pool. But, I mean, I don't have enough acid right now to do any damage to any kind of thing, so. It's not gonna damage anything. So, gotta get the boss man, give me some more, more acid. Uh-oh, Never mind. Wow, that's shady. Or is that bleach? No, that's. That's more acid, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it there. And we're gonna see what that does. And uh, that'll help the, uh, the, the pH, pH to go down a little bit, so. Oh, I hate the smell of that acid though. Dang. It smells like mustard. That's why they call it mustard gas. But that's just coming out of the bottle. So we added our acid. We'll come back and check it a little bit if I need to add more. I'll add more. Give it a couple hours. So turnover rate for this uh, pool is like four hours. So that means I think something like that. But nobody swims in it anyway. Only uh, three times a week. So anyway, got the pool tested and taken care of.
guys Jeff the maintenance man that's how you test your pool chemicals that is an awesome kit get it you have a good one thanks for watching liking commenting and subscribing I'm Jeff the maintenance man I'm out Filter on without hesitation. I saw the circuit.